For Hype Plus News, I'm John Alba. In honor of Juneteenth, Kendrick Lamar hosted his Pop Out Ken and Friends concert in Los Angeles that has everyone talking online. The day coincides with the now federal holiday that celebrates the freedom of slaves in America. The highlight of the evening was the finale where Lamar would perform his hit summer Drake Diss, Not Like Us, six times in a row. This will mark the very first time the Compton rapper has performed a song on a public stage. The one night event was a celebrity affair as many were in attendance to witness the event, but many stars would join Lamar on stage as well. Dr. Dre, Tyler the Creator, Roddy Rich, and Ty Dolla Sign were among several LA artists that Lamar brought out. When speaking on the moment, live during the show, Lamar would say that you ain't never seen this many sections on one stage. Let the world see this. We need to show everything. This is unity. Unity from all sides of LA, East LA, West, Crips, Bloods. This makes me emotional. The concert celebration would put an end to Lamar's back and forth with Drake, whom he was involved in a rap battle just two months prior. The battle would produce six diss tracks where both MCs held nothing back. Many would declare Lamar the winner due to his strategic planning. Now, of course, as the internet was watching the concert take place, a barrage of jokes would come mostly at the expense of Drake and several others in attendance too. LeBron and his wife Savannah James were present and one Twitter user would create a meme of the two that would go viral, creating a scenario where Savannah stops LeBron from trying to jump on stage. The post read, you ain't getting on that stage. You are a family man. You don't own a bandana. You from Akron. Enjoy the show like the rest of us. Another Twitter user would comment on the event by saying Amazon Prime helped KDOT deliver the hate same day. Another would say this is how lit the BET Awards used to be. One more social media user would agree and chime in. Jeff Bezos has no clue what is streaming on his service right now. A Joe Gross and Drake would say Little Yachty probably next to Drake right now watching the show on an IMAX screen going this not that five for real. Another similar tweet would read, Adonis watching this shit in a bathroom on his iPad. Another user would respond to that tweet saying, Door locked, Drake trying to find a paperclip. A few more would lightly mention the battle and rivalry between Lamar and Drake. I heard of praise dancers, but never seen hate dancers. This is historic. This is like we are the world, but for hating a guy. One more would embrace the celebration by writing, Kendrick got gang chella going crazy right now. Now, the day after the concert, the Breakfast Club would react to the moment, stating it was historic while championing Kendrick Lamar as the king of hip hop within this new generation. Jess, I don't know who bought you that big tray of breakfast that you eating, but you eating the way Kendrick was eating last night. You hear me? Kendrick set the tone. He let us know that this was a victory lap, and he yeah. came there, the blood and crip walk on his enemy's head top. To me, the show wasn't about Drake as much as it was about Kendrick Lamar becoming the undisputed heavyweight champion of hip hop. When it comes to this new generation, we've been watching over the last 15 years, Kendrick is the king of hip hop and it's not even close. I'm not talking about screaming records. I'm not talking yeah. about, you know, pop songs, singing on songs. I'm talking about bars, hip hop, culture. Kendrick wears that crown and it's not even close. From the looks of it, the concert seemed to be a cultural moment, bringing everyone together and it's something that will be discussed for the next few days. Hopefully this event becomes an annual affair. As far as Drake, hours after the concert, he will post an IG story with the caption, Summer League, which will leave many guessing what his next move would be. So what do you guys think about Kendrick Lamar's Ken and Friends pop out show? Did you watch it yourself at home? And do you think Drake should try to make a response to what we all witness or allow the moment to pass by? Plus, stay up to date for the latest news in comedy, culture, and music by subscribing here to our YouTube channel and follow Hype Plus across all social media. And before I go, make sure you guys go over to hypersclub.com to see what we've been doing over there. And if you like what you see, get you a membership, watch more content from us. And if you're in the Atlanta area, stop by the clubhouse. For Hype Plus News, I'm John Alba.